What's going on guys? It is Darren here with TNT. Today we're going to do a review of the new GOAT body armor for the second gen Tacomas. So as you guys have seen in previous videos, I have had this for just a little bit on the truck. Uh, it, I like it so far. It is very you know, appealing to the eyes for sure. The only difficult part that I've seen, uh, we'll dig into this a little bit more, is that you can only leave it on the vehicle for about seven days at a time. So the purpose for this is to protect the vehicle from pinstripes whenever you do go off road. Uh, you know, keep your value up on your vehicle. If you ever decide to trade it in, you don't have to repaint it after you know scratching it up pretty bad. So I have the driver's side done here. Uh, I did choose this design and I did get a custom color with the uh, front topo, the three original Tacoma stripes. It does take about six weeks or so from what I saw uh, from ordering. Uh, once you place your order, especially if you do a custom color, uh, it is made in the USA. So let's dig into this and see how we like it some more. So as I was saying, it's just a thin piece of metal. Um, you can throw it on there, magnet it however you wish, but you wanna make it look good. So you've gotta line everything up. I've already finished the driver's side. We've got half the passenger side done. So the easiest way that I've seen is start lining it up a little bit. And you can use your body lines that go with the truck. But I always start from back to front that way you just keep lining up the designs as you go towards the front of the vehicle. So, let's just find a nice spot. Now, one thing that GOAT did advise me of is you want to be careful down here on these bottom pieces for the door panels. Um, your tires will throw up wash, could catch underneath here, and cause you to lose this. Uh, you don't want to lose it going down the interstate. You don't want to lose it on the trails. Uh, you can't order pieces at a time if you need two from them that I've seen. So, and whenever you're placing it, you also do not want to scoot it. As you can tell that I'm picking it up every time to move it. Because if by chance there is a rock or something underneath and you did not clean your vehicle very well before putting these on, you go to slide it, all it's going to do is scratch your vehicle. So guys, like we were talking about being careful with these corners, especially up near the wheels, from the wash from the wheels, another big thing that I've heard, uh, that I've talked to with goat and everything to be careful of, is water crossings. So if you have these on and you go through, uh, you know, yay amount deep water, um, you hit it pretty hard, it's likely that it could throw the water underneath and get in between the armor itself and the truck and throw that piece off. Uh, if it's flowing water, it's kind of a problem because then the magnet will just flow down the river. Um, if it's stagnant, you might be able to get out and save it. Uh, so all the pieces, even the little pieces, um, I've driven 80 miles an hour on the interstate. I've driven six hours with it um, to Cape Lookout National Seashore. If you want to see that video, we had it on the truck the entire time. Just check the link above. I'm going to put it up there for you guys to watch. It's a really cool video and an awesome experience. Uh, so speaking of Cape Lookout, we had it on the beach. Uh, with the sand and everything, it did not affect it. I uh, cleaned it up pretty good. Whenever I got home though, make sure to wipe both sides so that sand didn't get in between my paint and scratch me some more. When the GOAT body armor does come to you, it does come packaged very well, but it also comes 100% solid. So for me, I had to cut a few pieces to make them fit. One being around the antenna and also around the badging. Now you can decide to debadge your vehicle um, and the GOAT body armor logo. Um, be there instead of the badging itself. I prefer the badging so I had to cut around it. A pair of scissors does the trick. Um, it's not very easy. Like I said, it's pretty thin. So um, this stuff is a little malleable. But yeah, so it goes on decently quick. As you guys saw, it took about I don't know, five minutes to do just you know the bottom of the door and two other pieces. So three pieces, four pieces took about five minutes to do. Uh, so uh, let's talk about more the durability of it. Um, that I've seen so far. I've been on a couple off-road trips. I do believe three um, and you know storage You can go from there. So whenever you do decide to get your set um, The second-gen Tacomas do come with eight pieces per side 
you have two on the front fender, three on the front door, two on the back door, and one on the actual bed of the truck, um, not to include the tailgate as well. So um, the purpose of this, honestly, is to protect the vehicle. Now, it does not go all the way to the edge, so you're still gonna get a little bit of pinstripes right along the edge, but that's a whole lot less to buff out than the rest of the vehicle. Um, especially if you know you're coming up on a stick that's hanging out a little branch it starts to hit and then you're like eh I need to get out and move that stick this will kind of give you that little buffer of hey it might want to do that um, so it is very thin so the durability it, there are some scratches in it uh, I actually did get a gouge in mine uh, the first time I took it off roading uh, up here in Tennessee um, it did not go all the way through or, nor damage the vehicle so that was kind of impressive. I'll show you that gouge on the driver's side here in just a little bit. Well, I was gonna show you the gouge, but unfortunately from that distance and getting closer, you really cannot see it right here. Um, it's where a stick popped up, hit the side of the truck. It was very loud in the cab. Uh, so you have to, I was like, oh no, something's damaged. There are two little marks right here, but from that distance, you cannot see it. It did not go all the way through. Um, like I said, it didn't even really puncture the back. It did in one spot but I was highly impressed with that whenever that stick popped up. Um, it's nice to know now on camera, it does not show from a distance, so you're still looking good. And really, this is eye appealing. I mean, what more can I say? Uh, whenever we drove to North Carolina, we had people stopping left and right saying, hey, that looks awesome. Did you have your truck wrapped? And I'm like, no, I like my truck. I like the idea of it being wrapped like this, but it's nice to be able to take it off and look clean uh, for just daily driving. It's not really necessary uh, to be on the whole time, but you know, it does look good. So let's talk about some of the negatives of the armor itself. So if you look very closely, I'll zoom in here in just a second, there are some bubbles um, right here in the armor. It's kind of hard to get out. Um, I've done my best. It's kind of like it's already dented from the back for some reason. Not quite sure why. Uh, I might contact GOAT and see, hey, or say, hey, uh, you know, is this common? what could affect this, what could cause it, and go from there. Uh, if you leave your stickers on, you will still have the imprint of the original body stickers as well behind it. It just kind of pops through. You can't really see what it says, but you know it's there for sure. Now, the body lines themselves are decent. Uh, they're not perfect by any means. Uh, it's hanging over a little bit over the fender flare right here, and then you get further down and it's perfect, but you can't go up anymore because of the bed. So. You, you got to play with it whenever you're putting it on, especially, you know, it's going to take a while the first time. The first time took me about an hour for my first side, uh, just trying to get it right. And I wanted it to be perfect and I couldn't get it perfect. So just know it's not going to be absolutely perfect. Um, we actually had to have some new pieces sent to us due to stretching during manufacturing. Um, you know, it just got tight in the machine and then some pieces were longer than that should be and it didn't fit at all and the lines didn't line up. But what I've seen though is GOAT is very adamant uh, about making things right. Uh, their customer support as well as the owner, uh, Matt. Uh, I've been on the phone with Matt several times. Uh, he is working with me trying to get these issues resolved as quickly as possible because he believes in his product. He doesn't want to put something out there that is just okay. He wants it to be perfect, especially compared to some of these other companies. All right, guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. If you want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button and come on our adventures with us. So the GOAT truck body armor, it, it like we talked about, it's got pros, it's got cons. Uh, is it really for you? That is for you to decide. So I would highly, you know, look into it. It's about 600 bucks, and then if you do custom coloring, it's about $65. Then usually it's free shipping. Um, so are you getting it for looks? Are you getting it for protection? I'll let you guys decide that. For me, it's a little bit of both. But, like I said, how much protection, we'll just have to see over time. So, we'll see you on the trails.